trying to figure out genetically why she is the way that she is. They found that she had an abnormality with her NAV2 gene. This is really new, new stuff. Good morning, Raven. <laughs> good morning. It's a good morning. Sorry. It's just an okay morning. <laughs> Today's only gonna get better, Raylan. We're gonna talk a minute about um, the other thing that we did at the doctor's appointment the other day, and that was uh, we had a Zoom call with, what's his, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Shinawi, he, what is his title? He's a genetics doctor. He's a genetics doctor. I don't know if he has a special name. But he's the guy basically in charge of uh, mapping Raylan's genome and uh, trying to figure out genetically why she is the way that she is, uh, if there's a connection there. We think there probably is. We think. The first time they did this testing, they found that she had an abnormality with the NAV2, her NAV2 gene. So they were continuing to monitor, look at that gene um, in terms of both her genetics and also other people's genetics to see if there's a correlation between that gene and her condition and that gene and other people's condition. And uh, so we had a Zoom call with him. We received results at the time that showed uh, some abnormalities. So the function of that gene actually is unknown at this point. So exome testing, and I might be saying that wrong, they like look at, I think your whole DNA, right. all the letters, all the things. So her NAV2 gene was mutated because she got it from her birth mom and birth dad, both had this recessive mutation right. that she got. They said the only information they had about the NAV2 gene was in mice that mutated it. I believe they mutated it on purpose in mice and mice had some brain issues. So that's why they think the NAV2 gene is causing her issues mm -hmm. because they mutated it in mice. Raylan, are you like a mouse? Are you a little mouse? No, not a little mouse. <laughs> but so that's, yeah, that's what they knew about it then. It was so. inherited. It's a mutation. We don't have other people with that mutation. Yeah, they but... just haven't found enough people. Uh, to have a good sample size to know whether they can draw any data what, from it whatsoever. Um, and it wasn't really classified as related to hair condition. So it, but the mice is like telling. Yeah, that's true. So they they basically told us over the Zoom call the other day that it's still very much inconclusive. So we were hoping when we did the exome reanalysis to get a little bit more information about that gene, but uh, I, I was disappointed also mm. to see that uh, nothing really changed since then. Mm. Going back on what our neurologist told us a couple of years back, or two or three years ago, when they first did the genetic testing, uh, he was aware of at least two other people who uh, had conditions like Raylan, who also had the NAV2 gene, but he said that they weren't nearly as se severe as Raylan. So, it, I mean, three people is not much of a sample to know whether it's really related, but it seems like it's at least somewhat related. If two people are similar to Raylan, maybe not as severe, but similar, and they both have that mutation. So, so I don't know. I like literally just Googled this, <laughs> okay. but I really was wondering why they wanted to talk to us again. Mm -hmm. Like they told us a while ago, can we rerun her exome test? I'm like, sure. They don't rerun the test. They just um, recheck the database. This is really new, new stuff. Right. When she got this test, it was really new. So five years later, like the database is way huger. So they rerun the database every three to five years. I didn't understand why they went and talked to us because they already called me and told me, hey, nothing new showed up. Right. So then when they called us, I thought it was going to be a short visit. It was over an hour long visit. And then they're like, hey, can you sign consents for us to do research with our information? And maybe we need more information and maybe we want to do a cheek swab. We're like, sure. Um, so anyways, I would say when I just Googled NAV2 gene mutation, there's some information dated November 14th, 2021. I wonder if like they just had a study that piqued their interest on that gene. Mm. And so someone like Raylan was specifically picked to, hey, we want to follow up on her mm -hmm. because this study just came out. Well, and she'd be a great, <laughs> I hate to use the word specimen, <laughs> a great example of this NAV2 gene because of, of how severe her condition is so she'd be like the the gold standard of saying oh this is what this could, could uh, this gene could cause i don't you know, what I'm know saying? if that's necessarily true but okay so whenever like for example whenever um I, I was taught in school like seminary and and um uh just classes about logic and things if you ever want to see whether an argument is valid 
you always take that valid or that argument to the extreme. So if it holds up in the extreme cases, then you know that that argument is valid for the general general purpose. She's not an argument though, and, and I know. So like <laughs> in my recent classes, <laughs> she's the she's the professional. Human she's, growth and development. Yeah. Our environment actually can affect our genes. Oh, sure, yeah. So it's very possible that her prenatal environment also oh, affected yeah. how this gene expressed itself. Sure. Oh, yeah, no question there. No question so there. Yeah. I, it's just hard with these really rare genes to get a control sample, but right. I would say she's not a control sample. No, no, not control, but um, extreme, I guess. is. I'm not sure the technical medical word for it, but... Um, like she has more the, the, problems. For example, the same reason they put all the side effects on drugs. They say, oh, it could cause all these things. Now, is that normal? No, it's not normal. But those are the extreme examples of what could be caused. Therefore, they need to list it on the thing. Gotcha. So it's the same, same kind of idea. I don't know. I don't know the medical term for that. <laughs> but, yeah, there was this something. They updated it recently. This gene encodes a member of the neuron navigator gene family, which may play a role in cellular growth and migration. Multiple transcript variants encoding different isoforms have been found on this gene. So to wrap all this up, just um, I think it's really cool that they can do all this research. And uh, even if we don't benefit from it, if Raylan doesn't benefit from it, people in the future will benefit from it. Yeah, we don't think Raylan will benefit from exome testing at all, but the future of medicine is to give, at least for some medicine, is to give genetically specific drugs. Right. Because people can have the same condition because of different genetic mutations. Right. So eventually the hope is that like they, they learn so much about this and if that's causing her condition, be able to treat it or maybe even genetically alter it so that uh, like in the, either in the womb or right after the person's born, probably in the womb if it's that part of the, uh, that much integrated into development. I really think that this is not in our realm of understanding well, and a geneticist would laugh at us. <laughs> that's talking. probably true. But at least treat it in some way. That That's the goal. They'll the be able to know it, identify it, and treat it uh, very early in the person's development. Well, they can look at other people who have the same mutation and know, like, this drug worked for them and didn't right. work for them, yeah, too. True. They can just compare drugs, so, what worked. So it's going to be helpful to somebody at, at some point. So uh, we're grateful to be a part of that and we're grateful that um, Raylan can contribute just by being herself. That's pretty cool. You're such a cutie. Look at you, a little mouse. Looks like a little mouse. Mom says you are a mouse. I didn't say she's a mouse. <laughs> you said she's a mouse. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm not a mouse, Raylan. <laughs> she's a cutie though.